Um, good evening. I'm so grateful to have you all to here this evening. If I'm completely honest, this is my favorite program of the weekend. I love, love uh, expressing appreciation, uh, making sure that people who are closest to us know how much we appreciate them, and that's what this program is all about this evening. I'm super proud of this class. Really thankful that you guys came to support, uh, and uh, you, you've been here, and you've, you've had just a taste this weekend of what I and the rest of the staff at Highland Academy get to enjoy each and every day, and what a blessing it is. So I want to thank you all for coming tonight. I hope you enjoy uh, your young people uh, and their expression back to you of how much they appreciate you. At this time, I'd like to invite Yudi to come and officially welcome us and start our program. Hi, good evening. Thank you so much for being here, for supporting us, and also uh, for all your love, for um, just be here with us. Uh, let's pray to open this activity. Um, dear Holy Father, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for the privilege of being here in your house, at your house. Thank you, God, because we know that you are here with us, because we are blessed. Um, uh, from this night, we know that you have a plan, many different things for us, and love us and be with us for the rest of the program. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Will, will the following people please stand? Um, Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, Poppy, Kathy, Uncle Joe, and Aunt Amy, Uncle Jeremy and Aunt Jody, Sophia, Daniel, Coach Rogers, Tyler, Amelia, Anna, Brooklyn, Cordell, Caroline, Helena, James, Linus, Nasir, Sammy, Tian, Natalie, Mr. Palma, Mr. Blair, Mr. Ashcraft, and Ms. Lopez. Bree, Cordell, Brooklyn, Caroline, Nasir, Amelia, James, Heather, and Tian. Coach, boss, dean, Ms. Lopez. Go back a bit. <laughs> There's a lot of people I'm thankful for and want to thank. I can't specifically thank every one of my friends due to time but you all have been very important to me. Thank you, Linus, Anna, Tyler, Helena, Sammy, Bree, Cordell, Brooklyn, Caroline, Nasir, Amelia, James, Heather, and Tian. Coach, boss, dean, wizard, whatever your title might be, Steve Rogers, thank you for not only being a staff member at Highland, but also a friend. Mr. Ashcraft and Barrett, thanks for being great bosses that have let me see what being the IT guy means. Ms. Lopez, calculus class has been one of my favorite classes ever. Thank you for all the valuable discussions we've had in there. I've taken away so much spiritually that I almost want to say that I've learned as much as I have in a Bible class. Mr. Palma, even though you got upset with me and the others quite a bit and are probably the toughest boss on campus, thank you, because you made me a hard worker. Mr. Blair, you sparked my interest in photography. Your love for it spread to me, and it's been something I know I'll have a passion for through the rest of my life. Jason. If Mr. Blair was the inspiration for my interest in photography, you were my aspiration. You're the only other guy at Highland that had a passion for photography, and your skill and support for me made me a person I look up to. Natalie, I've said this before, but thank you. Because you, for whatever reason, asked me to fix your phone and sparked an entrepreneurial side of me that made my skill for repairing phones into a small business and it inspired me to take my photography skills to the next level. Daniel, I've had to shorten this, but you've been one of my best friends and a spiritual inspiration for me. And as simple as it may seem, your answer to why your pastor was a spark that changed my life goals. Whether it be the many video calls we've been in using every conferencing app possible, getting you to run for essay despite being ineligible because you were a senior, or all the church live streams we've done together, it's all been fun. I can only imagine what adventures rooming with you at Southern will hold. Sophia, Joey, and Sarah, thanks for being awesome and chill cousins. Bryson, you're definitely my favorite brother. 
Maybe the only, but my favorite brother nonetheless. Georgia, we've had our differences, but recently we've gone past those and have become closer, and I'm glad for that. I want to thank my uncles and aunts for all the support that they've shown me, but I specifically want to thank Uncle Jeremy for the financial support that helped me go to Highland. Poppy, thank you for all the time we've had looking at our origins, finding where our name Houston comes from, and um, just hanging out with you. Grandma and Grandpa, thank you for being a party house for all the family gatherings every other year. Grandpa, you've been a spiritual influence on me. Grandma, your German chocolate cakes can't be outdone. The time you put into caring for the kids and grandkids is crazy. I love you guys. Mom and Dad, thank you for raising me. Since I've relied on you all my life, I haven't exactly been able to see how you shape me as some people have. But regardless, I know you shape me more than anybody else. You've been with me with my broken bones, my Lego robotics trips, my photo shoots, and more. Mom, thank you for raising me these 18 years. I don't think I'll really be able to appreciate all you've done for me until I'm out of the house. You filled my life with joy. I appreciate your critical eye for my hobbies and your support in my entrepreneurial endeavors. And I, of course, can't forget all the great meals. Thanks. I love you. Dad, your interests have become mine. Your love for math, theology, and science fiction have all had an impact on my life. Thank you for the lessons you've taught me that have made me a better person and all the practical skills that have prepared me for adulthood. And definitely most importantly, thank you for all the trips we've made to Dairy Queen. I love you. Last but not least, God needs credit. I might not be able to see his full plan for me, but I've seen him working in the small things, and I know he can use me in the big things. Okay, my list is kind of long. Um, I want to, if you hear your name, please stand. Auntie Tedju, aka Dr. Williams, and Zuri, and um, Dassey, Uncle Wilson, Mr. Sherman, Pastor Will, the Watkins family, Father Bill, the deans, Gabe, Renee, Anna, Matthias, Alyssa, Victor, Helena, Megan, Caroline, Callian, Lily Kuntz, Esther, Herberto, Adrian, Juan, Cordell, and last but not least, Kumbula Misibi. <laughs> Isaiah 26, 4 says, Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is a rock for all ages. I want to thank God for making this possible. I think back to when I was in elementary, and the thought of getting into high school was merely a fantasy. And just as Isaiah talks about trusting in God, I learned to do that the last four years, and here I am. I made it, and I'm excited for the next chapter God bestows for me. I want to thank my parents for always having my back. One thing that helped me the last 12 years of my education is my mom always telling me it's only for a season. And as the season ends, I'm glad my parents are here to see one of my many achievements. I also want to thank my dad for being the chillest dad and for the quality time we spent together. I want to thank my mom for being a great travel buddy and for teaching me some Swahili, Asante Sana. I want to thank Kumbula for being my gangi, for making me laugh, and just being a superior brother. Thank you to my adopted family for opening your doors for me and helping me out all these years. Thank you to each and every one of you who are standing. You all hold a special place in my heart. Thank you for all the sacrifices, and I pray God blesses each of you and your families. Thank you. Will the following people please stand? Mom, Dad, Thea, Theo, Jenny, Diego, Paolo, Vanessa, Helena, Cesar, Briley, Brayden, Lincoln, Bryson, Sammy Schmidt, Gabe, Maddie, Brandon, Imani, Alyssa, Magali, Nasir, Adrian, Matias, the, Ro the Roger family, um, the Hillebert family, uh, the Wade families, um, the Lopez family, Cordell, Thomas, Jeshua, Juan, Ashley, Sophia, Rebecca, Dean Redding, and Mr. Shermanator. Hola, familia. 
Thank you for being there for me on this special day. I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for God to give me such loving and supporting people in my life. I want to thank my parents for always being there for me. And I just for everything. For helping me to become a good man and I'm also thankful because you have taught me on how to become a good leader. And the way you lead our family inspires me to become just like you. Mom, between us, I know I'm your favorite child. <laughs> thank you for always teaching me to have patience and to always look forward no matter what difficulties I face. I love both of y'all so much, aunque sea uno de sus tres consentidos. But anyways, I love y'all, and I thank God for y'all. Mr. and Mrs. Wade, thank you for being my second family here at Portland and for inviting me to your house and spending quality time with y'all. Jennifer and Diego, where to begin? So many memories, but that's for another story right now. I just want to thank y'all for being there for me, no matter how annoying I am. Thank you for always being with me, and I love y'all so much, y'all little rascals. Helena, thank you for always being there with me, no matter how mad I made you, and spending quality time with you, like, for example, our picnic pizza. Thank you for never leaving me and, help, and helping me to become a better student. The Roger, Hillebert, Lopez, and Wade. Thank you for inviting me to y'all family and making me feel one of your own. And really helping me at the beginning of this school year. Gracias a mi familia que se tomaron el tiempo para venir a mi graduación. Los quiero mucho. Cesar, Bradley, Lincoln, Braden, Gabe, Imani, and the Wampas. Thank you for making my senior year very special. I love each and one of y'all so much. And I just wanted to thank all of y'all. Ka chow. <laughs> okay, will the following people please stand? Bear with me. Um, Mom, Grandma Thompson, Grandma Cook, Anita, Alyssa and Alyssa, Alan, Natalie, Mariah, Patrick and Patrick, Matthew, Aunt Sarah, Aunt Emmy, Miss Lopez, Miss Terry, Mr. Wade, Mr. Watkins, Coach, Juan, Lily, uh, Callian, my tossing group, Tyler, Nathan, Bailey, Kylie, Natalie Unicorn, Cordell, Megan, and Imani. Can you believe it? Wow, I'm here, guys. I'm actually graduating. Mom, Grandma, I wanted to let you know I did bring you the tissues. I first want to thank my mom and stepfather for supporting me through the years of high school. And Mom, thank you for putting up with me all these years with the tears, laughter, and all the emotions in between. Growing up, I always thought I knew everything. But these past few years have taught me so much. And now that I'm actually graduating, I can for sure say I know everything. <laughs> Kidding. I know that I'll continue to call you every day asking you the same questions you've answered the day before. <laughs> Love you. I also want to say, even though he's not here, for all of you to know the biggest lesson that I learned from my dad is when I was growing up, he was asked what his dream car was and he replied, the car that gets me from point A to point B. That alone tells you the kind of man he was. I learned the shoes you wear or the car you drive does not matter. And the more important things were watching the football game or fishing with family. And for that, I would thank him if he was here. For the people who are here, Grandma Thompson, thank you for all of our late night talks and all the times you let me vent about any and everything. And thank you for always making sure I never come back to school without your oatmeal fudge or your cookies. Grandma and Grandpa Cook, thank you for always making me feel welcomed when I come over. Thank you for always opening up your house and letting me stay there, especially this past summer. It means a lot to know how much you guys care. Alan, Natalie, and Alyssa. Alan, we might not hang out that much, but when we do get the chance, it's something I look forward to. Our late night talks, rants, bike rides, and the occasional times I join one of your mini soccer teams. I always have fun when you're around. You seem to bring a light into the room, even though you're not there very long. Natalie, it goes without being said, but I'll say it anyway. Thank you for always taking me out. I always look forward to telling you my midlife crisis, even when it's usually something stupid. And you always hype me up. And then you tell me how it really is, even if I don't want to hear it. I might get frustrated, but it's only because I know you're always right. Alyssa, growing up when you were at boarding school, it made it really easy for Alan, Natalie, and I to blame you for the things we did. 
And by the time you'd get home, mom and dad had already forgotten. So thank you for that. Even though you didn't realize it, you helped us get out of trouble many times. Thank you for always letting me come over and always making time for me in your schedule. It's always really easy to talk to you, and I find myself relating to you more often than not, and I enjoy the times we do get to spend together. Miss Lopez, thank you. Whether you realize it or not, you've impacted my life so much. Every time I hear Highland Academy, I think of you and how amazing you are. You alone make Highland Academy a better place. I learned so much from you. You're a great teacher in and out of the classroom. I enjoy our weekly talks, and I find it really easy to open up to you. Also, I hope you enjoy your dog. Mr. Wade, thank you for literally everything. I honestly don't know what to say. I've learned so much from you, and in a way, you remind me of my father. I really do look up to you, and I want you to know how much you mean to me. Working for you these last two years are most definitely the highlight. You are so much fun to be around, and you always make me and other people laugh. Thank you for all the times you take me off campus and the many things that you have taught me. I will miss working up at the shop, and I will miss the daily encounter with you and the Wade workers. Thank you to all my aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends for always being there for me. And thank you for all of you who are standing right now, putting up with my mixed emotions these past few years. It really means a lot. I would not be the person I am today without you and all of you in my life. I love you and appreciate all of you so much. Thank you. Will the following people please stand? Mom, Dad, Grandma, Dean Wiesner, Dean Sarah, Miss Lopez, Pastor Will, Miss A, Katie, Juan, and Adrian. Wow, it's hard to comprehend that I am really done. I'm going to miss Highland Academy, but because of Highland, I am more than ready for my next journey into college. Though I may have a lot of memories at Highland, I have to admit I am not sad to go. I'm excited, but before I take my leave, I would like to say my thank yous. First, I would like to thank my parents. I know I don't say it as often as I should, but I appreciate both of you. Mom, thank you for putting up with me all these years. I can't say all the things you have done for me, but I can at least thank you for a few. Thank you for, be for being willing. Thank you for being willing to edit my papers, even though it may be nine o'clock at night. Thank you for buying me unnecessary things I may want. Thank you for believing in me. You and Dad have shaped me into who I am now. Dad, thank you for being patient with me. I know it can be hard. Even when I push you away, you would always be there with a smile and a hug. Thank you for teaching me the value of working hard. I am thankful that both of you are in my life. I love you. Claire, though we've had some rough patches, I would like to thank you for being there when I needed you, even if I didn't want you to be. I admit, that when we started to grow closer together, I was happy, and I want to apologize for not always being there when you needed me the most. Grandma, thank you for cooking me the best meals when I visit. Like Grandpa used to say, you are the best grandma ever. Thank you for letting me accompany you to Walmart and back. I have enjoyed our little talks in the car. I want to tell you that I am proud of you, and I know Grandpa would be too. I am so very glad that you are my grandmother. Dean Wiesner and Dean Sarah, oh my, you both have done so much for me. Whenever I'm having a bad day, Dean Wiesner, you never fail to make me at least smile or even laugh. And Dean Sarah, I can come up to you and ask to play a game or two, and you automatically smile. I enjoy your company, and luckily, you like mine as well. You both have always been there when I needed to talk or just want to have some fun. Though being a janitor wasn't all that fun, you both made my job easier. I have to say I enjoyed working for you guys. Thank you, Dean Sarah and Dean Wiesner, for being there and being amazing people. And yes, Dean Wiesner, I did just say that. Lastly, I want to thank the staff here at Highland Academy for helping me with my relationship with God. You have been a big part of my life, and I hope college will be as rewarding as it has been here. All of my teachers, classmates, family members, and anyone else I admitted, thank you for supporting me with my education and cheering me on. Okay, will the following people please stand? Mama and Daddy, Sarah and Lil CB, Jakeson, Nana and Pa, Grammy and Papa, Sheila and Brianna, Gabe, Megan, Imani, Anna, Linus, Tyler, Tian, Cordell, Victor and Helena, Lily and Caroline, Richie and Stacy, 
Mr. Dad, uh, PW2 and Christy, PW, Doug and Claudia, Coach and Lady Rogers, and Miss Drusky. We finally made it. First, I want to thank my parents. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. You guys have taught me to embrace who I am and to not be afraid of the dark. Mama, thank you for listening to my many, many rants about my day and for teaching me how to ride a mare even though they may be a pain at times. Daddy, thank you for always taking care of my little baby Shiggy Boogie and for teaching me countless life lessons, but especially for teaching me not to dwell on the little things because as you always say, you won't remember this moment 10 years from now. I love you guys. Nana and Pa, I don't know where I would be without y'all's encouragement and your faith in me. Nana, thank you for teaching me how to make your famous mac and cheese and for always having supper ready if I unexpectedly drop by and for always making sure I have plenty of mini rice cakes. Pa, thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for pushing me through the airport on our way to Florida, for always making sure my Jeep is in tip-top shape and for bringing me and Megan frappes on Frappe Friday. And especially, thank you for teaching me the true meaning of hard work. Little CB, Sarah, and Jason, thank you for being the best siblings a girl could ask for. Little Zabumafu, even though we may fight, I still wouldn't trade you for anything. Besides, who else would I continually beat in a race? Sarah, AKA Ra Ra, thank you for always guiding me and teaching me to just be myself and not worry about what other people think about me. Thank you for being my tubing buddy and making telling people no easier because all I have to say is, sorry guys, my Sarah said no. Little X Jakeson, Thank you for always making me laugh because of your fear for snakes and for always teaching me that it's okay to think you are the best at surfing even though we all know Sarah is better. P.S. Shiggy Boogie is precious. Grammy and Papa, thank you guys for picking me and Lily up and letting us play in the creek and teaching us about the many different uses for essential oils. Andrew Douglas Wade, a.k.a. Dad, thank you for always putting up with Megan and I even, even though we know it may be difficult at times. Just kidding, we're always perfect angels. Besides, we are your favorites after all. To my friends, without you guys, I don't know if I would have made it. You guys are the reason that I can look back and laugh and smile at the memories we have made. Thank you guys for never giving up on me. And to everyone standing here tonight, thank you for everything you guys have done from the smallest of things to the biggest of things. You all have changed my life for the better. Thank you all for always supporting me through this roller coaster of a life. I love each and every one of you. Will the following people please stand? Mom, Dad, Davy, Derek, Rachel, Hudson, Magali, Miranda, Josh, Yudi, Mrs. Lopez, Mr. Howland, Pastor Will, Allie, Chelsea, Dean Sarah, Principal Watkins, and Imani. To start off, I want to thank my mom, my dad, and God. If it weren't for them helping, guiding, and pushing me through the past 13 years, I don't think I would be standing here today. My parents sacrificed the past 13 years of life so I could have two things, a walk with the Lord and a good education. School hasn't been easy for me. My parents have been with me every step of the way, from staying up late helping with homework to finding someone to help with my dyslexia. They have always been my biggest supporters, even when I had doctors and people telling me that I would never make it to my graduation. But we had faith in God that I would make it. I also want to thank my parents three siblings, Derek, Danae, and Davey. Derek and Danae are probably my biggest role models. I've looked up from, to them from day one. They have taught me a lot about life and the real world after graduation. I also want to thank my little sister, Davey. She has stuck by me my whole life and always known how to make me laugh when I'm upset. And, hope, and I hope to be the biggest role model for her as my two older siblings were for me. I also want to thank my two closest friends, Magali and Miranda, for making my senior year fun and enjoyable. I will always cherish our memories and laughters and all the trips we went on together. I also wanted to thank the Highland staff for teaching me what a true Christ-like character is about. the following people please stand up um, my dad my mom principal Watkins Anita Watkins Steve Rogers Tanya Mark e mis hermanitos Daniel y Marcelo
First, I want to thank God. Um, I want to thank my dad. Thank you for providing for me and always being so honest with me and being a good mentor for me. I'm going off to college soon, so you'll finally be the man of the house. Quiero agradecer a mi mamá. Siempre estuvo de mi lado, soportándome y dándome buen consejo. Aunque me regañaba, yo sé que siempre era con amor. I want to thank Principal Watkins for being a good friend to me and always trying to find a way to help and being a good listener. I can't wait to go to the World Cup in 2026 with you. I want to thank Anita Watkins for being unbelievable counselor for me. She always helped me with good advice and encouraged me to do the right thing. I want to thank Steve Rogers for not only being a fantastic dean this year, but a close brother of mine. You helped me become more responsible and a better worker this year. I appreciate you, son. I want to thank my family at Volunteer Recycling. Tanya, thank you for being my Southern mama over these past two years. I know that if I ever need help or need to talk to someone, I can always just give you a call. Mark, thank you for being a great boss and showing care for me and my friends. You showed me how to improve as a worker and become a better person. Last but not least, I want to thank all the Wampas for being there for me. You guys were my friends in the beginning, but now you have become my family. Thank you, everybody. Uh, will the following people please stand up? Dalen Miranda, Judy, Granny Sonia, McCade, my dad, Mama Marcelia, Mama Donna, um, Chelsea, Marilyn Carter, Dr. Carter, Matias, Edwin, Lloyd, Maester, Mama Maria, Victor, Mama Shelley, um, Ms. Lopez, Pastor Will and Christy, Helena, Mr. and Mrs. Alvarez, Alejandra, and Juanito. I'm thankful for my mom and dad, who gave up everything to give me everything. Mom, though you can't be here with me right now, I know you're proud of the person I've become. Dad, thank you for spoiling me with everything you could give me and everything I could ask for. To both of my parents, I'll return the favor when I get the chance, but for now, all I can say is thank you. Thank you for supporting me through my mistakes and for loving me unconditionally. Thank you to Marilyn Carter for loving my family and going out of your way to help me and my brothers receive the opportunities that we wouldn't have if it weren't for you. Thank you for also being there when I need to talk and for wishing me the best. Thank you to Ms. Sherry for being my friend, someone I could go to when I wanted to laugh and have a good time. I'm grateful I met you and I hope we see each other in person again. Last, I want to thank my teachers for helping me and pushing me to do better every day. I will never forget my time at Highland Academy.
could stand, as well as my cousins, Brandon, Mr. Wade, Coach and Lady Rogers, Maddie, Caroline, Gabe, Micah, Mr. Sherman, Nathan, Miss Amy, um, if I mention names twice here, I'm sorry, I guess you can just keep standing, Amani, Alyssa, Matthias, Brayden, Caitlin, and Gabe, as well as Houston, Brandon, and Victor. I'm done, I promise. I have so many people who have helped me through not only my time at Highland Academy, but in other stages of my life leading up to my graduation. I would like to start by thanking my parents for guiding my life and for being the best examples of, Christ of a Christ-like character I could ask for. They've always told me what I need to hear, even if I didn't want to hear it. And they've let me grow from my own mistakes, which I'm grateful for. And if you know me well enough, I make a lot of those. I'd also like to thank my brother for being a friend and an example growing up. But sometimes his example wasn't always the best, but he's pretty solid for the most part. I know he's someone I'll always be able to count on, and if there's anyone I can trust to set me straight when I need it, it's my brother. Thank you, John. My aunts and uncles and cousins have all given me tons of advice, and they've shaped my life more than they will probably ever know. And the memories I have with them and the whole family over Thanksgivings are ones that I never want to forget. I'm always excited to see our family friends from wherever they are and whenever I get to see them. And guys, you've become family to me over the years. Mr. Wade, you've always been good to me and my brother since we came to Highland. And you've been the best boss that anyone could ask for. Whether I've needed to go into town to get something or... I've just wanted to hang out. You've always been there. And even though you might bully me a little bit, I will always be thankful for you and your family. Now we go on to Coach Rogers, the gentleman farmer. He is one of the funniest people I've ever met, and he'll always hear me out no matter what my harebrained idea is. And his laugh, as well as basically everything he's ever told me, are going to haunt me for years to come. Thank you, Coach. And I'd like to thank all of my teachers, both the ones from Highland and other schools that have brought me from, you know, where I was to where I am now. Many of you, if not all of you, have changed my life in ways that, I guess if they're not noticeable, they will be in, you know, as I grow up. And I wish I had all the time in the world to thank my friends because you guys have been great. Boys, you've made the Highland experience really worth it, and I'm gonna miss you guys. And I know I've missed a couple other people, so come beat me up later after pictures. Oh, oh boy. All right. I'd like to ask the following people to please stand. Tapitha, Mom, Grandpa, great-grandma, Omar Amir, Aliyah, Ina too, uh, Grandma, Kaden, the Reeves family, the Odell family, and all of the Wampas. First, I'd like to thank my family. Mom, you've always been supportive of me. 
I always loved the food that you made and the love you showed me unconditionally. Thank you for your wonderful cooking and the support you give me. Dad, you have inspired me to be the person I am today. I was always intrigued by the work you did and I love being able to travel to new places with you. Thank you for the inspiration you gave me and for all the places we travel to. Grandpa, you have always been the one to get things done. If it wasn't for you, I would not have been able to enroll here at Highland, as I would have no idea where to start. Thank you for being there behind the scenes, taking care of all the things I didn't know existed. Grandma, you have taught me many valuable lessons that I can take with me for the rest of my life. I will always remember you teaching me from the arm of your recliner and me being able to jump on your waterbed. You taught me how to learn and I will forever be grateful. To the staff of Highland Academy, you guys have shown me the importance of learning and I thank you all for fostering a place where I can enjoy education and friendship. And to all the Wampas, Te Amo Te Amo. Will the following people please stand? Mamita, Papito, Julie, Abril, Judy, Dean Sarah, Dean Wiesner, Principal Watkins, Pastor Will, Juanito, Magali, Dalen, Miranda, Carly, Imani, Helena, Amelia, Helena, and Heather. Hello everyone, my name is Alejandra and I am a half year senior. Yes, you heard it right. I've only been here one semester but I could say it has been one of the best experiences I've had. I have a lot of people to thank, so let me start by thanking God. He is the only reason I can be here today. He really made a way for me to come to Haydn and be able to graduate. Mamita y papito, son muchas las razones que tengo para darles gracias. Han estado ahí estos cuatro años apoyándome y levantándome cada vez que me he caído. Son los mejores papás que podría tener y nunca les podría agradecer tantas cosas que han hecho por mí y siguen haciendo por mí. Pa, te amo muchísimo. Gracias por dar lo mejor de ti cada día por nosotras. Sé que tener tres mujeres, bueno, cuatro, um, no es una tarea fácil, pero tú nos conoces tanto a cada una y nos haces muy feliz. Eres mi ejemplo a seguir. Mamita, gracias por ser la mejor mamá que pueda existir, por todas las veces que me cantaste mi orgojito, por todos los desayunitos y los peinados antes de ir al colegio, y aun cuando no estás a mi lado, por llamarme todas las noches y seguir amándome. Gracias por haber dado todo de ti por nosotras. I also want to thank my other half, my sister. I used to think that being the older sister was much easier. I was jealous of you for being the big sister. But lately, I've realized that it's a lot of work, and I admire you for pulling up with me. Um, you're smart, caring, strong, everything a sister could ask for. Thank you for teaching me so many things about life. I am completely sure that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Abril, thank you because even though we're not together anymore, you're still always there for me when I need it. You have always been and will always be my best friend. Mr. Watkins, Mr. Johnson, and Mr. Sherman, thank you for giving me a chance to come to Highland. Dean Sarah and Dean Wisner, thank you for being so sweet when I first got here and for signing all my great club hours. To all the faculty and staff, I couldn't be more thankful for each one of you. Thank you for always caring so much for us. Julie, thank you for being such a crazy friend since day one. Lastly, I would like to thank all my classmates for letting me be part of the class of 2022. You guys are amazing and make classes so much better. Um, with the follow following people, please stand. Mom and Dad, Chadwick, Grandma and Grandpa, Mimi and Papa, Tian, Uncle Ed and Aunt Michelle, Allison, Aunt Janet and Aunt Elaine, Aunt Tara, Aubrey and Brandon, Aunt Christy, Uncle Will, Andy Wade and Principal Watkins, Mr. and Mrs. Dresky, Alyssa, Imani, Thomas, Tyler, and Caitlin. Through the years, there have been many ups and downs. I'm thankful for all the people that have been there next to me every step of the way. From sitting with me through the storms to celebrating with me once they've passed, there is a valuable lesson that I have learned from each and every one of you. Mom, you have been my best friend since the beginning. I've been blessed to have you as my mother and a role model. You have been there with me through everything. You are the first person to be by my side when things go wrong. 
I will never be able to repay you for all you've done for me and for all the sacrifices you've made to get me where I am today. My favorite memories with you will always be the times we were driving somewhere talking so much we didn't even know the road we ended up on. From you, I learned the true meaning of love. Dad, you've been my partner in crime for as long as I can remember. From all the laughs we shared and the fish we've caught, I've loved every minute. I will never forget the way I could sit and talk to you about anything for hours. I will always be your little girl, and no matter where I end up in this world, I know I'll always have you to talk to when I need it. From you, I learned my favorite lesson, how to tie a hook to the fishing line, but mostly, most importantly, you taught me how to be strong. Chadwick, I have always looked up to you, even though we sometimes fight. We went through a lot together growing up, and I know that you will be my lifelong friend. My favorite memory with you will always be that time you were driving the little yellow car in the backyard, and I was sitting in the passenger seat. Even though you forgot to tell me to duck before going under the trampoline, I forgive you. You've always been such a kind person to everyone who comes into your life. And from you, I learned to never hold grudges and always forgive. Grandma and Grandpa, some of my favorite memories are with you. I will always remember the hours that we would spend talking from the Hallmark movie marathons and baking with Grandma to watching all the old westerns and mowing the lawn with Grandpa. My least favorite moments were the ones where we had to say goodbye, but Grandpa would always make it better by giving us a ride on his shoulders to the car. I will forever love you. Mimi and Papa, I thank you for always letting me stay with you guys, even if Tian and I would keep you guys up all night laughing. You were always willing to take us out on the town when we were bored. You always made time to talk to me, and I can never thank you guys enough for everything you have done for me. My favorite memory with you guys is the time we took a family trip to the mountains and played cards in the cabin. I'll never forget how hard we were all laughing. From you, I learned the importance of family. Tian, you are my sister I never had. I don't even know where to start. Trying to come up with a favorite memory has been impossible because all the time I've had with you has been my favorite. From the gymnastics show in the living room, swimming in the horse trough, fishing in Alabama, and eating banana-flavored popsicles, I will miss every moment, and I can't wait till you join me in college. To all my aunts and uncles who have done more for me than I probably deserved, Aunt Elaine for always decorating cupcakes, Aunt Michelle for staying up late to watch movies and laugh until we couldn't breathe, Uncle Ed for sharing the love of the Dallas Cowboys, and even though you tried to give me a new nickname, I'll always be burp squirt to you, and that's okay. Aunt Janet, for always making time for me, even if you didn't really have it, you were always there when I needed it. From you, I learned courage. Principal Watkins, you taught me that what a Christ-like character and lifelong learner looked like. You have, done, you have gone above and beyond for each person here at Highland, and to you, I am forever grateful. And last but not least, Mr. Wade, AKA Dad, thank you for always putting up with Alyssa, and me too, I guess. <laughs> We know that we will always be your favorites, even if you never really admitted it. From you, I learned patience. Thank you to all who are standing. I would not be here today without each and every one of you. Thank you. All right, would the following people please stand? Uh, Mom, Dad, Kylie, Grandma and Papa Halverson, Grandma and Papa Copley, uh, Mr. Mark Thompson, Mrs. Tanya Harrison, Aunt Brittany, Uncle Richie, Tristan, Haley, Taylor, Adrian, Gabe, Brandon, Victor, Nasir, Matias, Tyler, Caitlin, Megan, Helena, and Coach Rogers. I have had so much support over my lifetime. I can't thank God enough for the amazing support team that he gave me. Everyone in my large extended family has always been a huge cheerleader for me. My grandparents have always made vacations and holidays a very exciting thing to look forward to. And then they totally spoiled me. They've always inspired me to live life as full as they have. My aunts, uncles, and cousins add to the mix by always making get-togethers exciting. My whole family, they're just a, such an amazing support group. I would like to thank my sister also for putting up with me and being so willing to try whatever my new daily inspiration was. She's been through a lot as I would boss her around daily with the games we played. She's been a constant friend for me no matter where life had us living, and I know I've lived in some destitute places. She puts up with me and gives me someone to hang out with when there's no one around us for miles. Of course, also my parents. I would like to thank them for creating an amazing and loving home life. They're always making me laugh and encouraging me when I need help. I've always looked at them and aspired to model my life after them. 
my mom and I are basically the same person. And she always makes me laugh and totally understands what makes me tick. She understands my need for punctuality, and we enjoy teasing my dad together. Speaking of, my dad has always been someone that I want to be. I always knew that when I grew up, I wanted to be the kind of man that he is. I still want to strive to be. He's always encouraged my crazy projects that I take on, even though I'm sure he knew that 90% of them would just turn into a mess that he'd have to clean. Both my parents have been there for me from the start, and I couldn't have made it here without them. Everyone in my life I know has been put there for a reason, and I just want to take this time to thank them all. Will the following people please stand up? Ma, Pa, Matencha, Rico, Nicole, Mr. and Mrs. Alvarez, Magali, Daylin, Amazing Imani, Yudi, Alejandra, Matias, Josh, James. Sorry, I didn't, I've made the mistake of not writing a list. <laughs> Principal Watkins, Miss Nikki Watkins, Mama Donna, Mr. Sherman, and Mr. Wade, and Mrs. Lopez. <laughs> Queridos mamá y papá, quiero comenzar diciendo gracias por todo lo que han sacrificado para que llegue a este punto. Gracias por aguantarme todos estos años y mis berrinches que hice, y por siempre creer en mí cuando yo no. Gracias Matencha por ser mi segunda mamá, por siempre estar al pendiente con lo que necesito y por su comida tan rica que para mí siempre será más buena que las de los restaurantes. Agradezco sus consejos que me has dado y por las pláticas que tenemos solas en la casa y por su cariño. I want to thank Rico for also being there when I needed someone to talk to, for teaching me about cars and giving me school advice, helping me make serious decisions, and for always being down to get or make food late at night, as well as being another parent and running after me in mom's office. I would also like to thank Nicole for being the older sister I never had. I enjoy talking with you and getting to know you more over this time, for laughing about the dumbest things for arguing with my brother on what the correct way to say a word in Spanish is, and for also giving me advice on school and life. To Mr. and Mrs. Alvarez for opening up their home for me when I didn't have anywhere to go during home leaves and for being good friends with my family. To Mr. Wade for being the best first boss I've had and my close friends that I have made here, and the staff of Highland Academy for pushing me to be a better me. May the following people please stand. Mom, Ruben, Dad, Leah, Nick, Mr. Sherman, Alyssa, Imani, and Matthias. First, I have to thank God for putting all the people I'm about to mention in my life, blessing me with all they give me, and for pulling me through this year. Next, I want to thank my beautiful mom. Thank you, Mom, for all the warm hugs, fun adventures, and love you have given me. I can't begin to thank you for all you do for me every single day. You've always been my number one fan and supporter, encouraging me to keep going and stay strong. I also want to thank my stepdad, Ruben. Thank you, Ruben, for the many laughs and all your help with my car, LOL. Also, for all your amazing advice and all the delicious food that you cook. Next, I want to thank my dad. Thank you, dad, for watching Ion with me and for all your corny jokes. Also for trying your best to keep me happy. I know it's not always easy. I also want to thank my sister Leah for being another big supporter throughout my life. Thank you for watching out for me and for being a very honest role model for me to look up to. Thank you for just listening and letting me ramble. It means a lot to me. I also want to thank my brother Nick for growing up with me and filling my childhood with creativity and fun. Thank you for standing up for me and for your willingness to help when I need it. Last but not least, I would like to thank my best friend, Matthias. Thank you for taking this crazy journey with me. You've gifted me with so many laughs and so much happiness. I can't express how grateful I am to know someone like you. I would also like to thank anyone else who has influenced my life, big or small, that I didn't mention specifically. Thank you for all making me who I am today.
I would like to ask the following people to stand. Mom, Dad, Donna, William, Josh, Esther Lewis, James, Mary Esther, Mr. Wade, Mr. Hallam, Heather, and Karis. Today is a very special day for all of us. I would like to commemorate this time by thanking those who helped me get here and supported me in my journey. Mom, I don't know where I would be without you. Your tenacity and gentle spirit through all the tough times and hard days is truly an encouragement to me. The Sabbath night snack runs, talking for hours on end, and exploring the outdoors with you are only a few of my favorite memories. There has not been another person who has affected my spiritual life in such a positive way as you have. I am so thankful to you for all you have blessed me with. And Dad, where do I begin? I might as well give you credit for giving me my passion for art. Since I was little, I remember watching you draw. We would take our bikes out to beautiful places, and I would imitate whatever masterpiece you were designing at the time. Today, I can see that your persistence and creativity has pushed me to achieve the things I aspire to do. Your unique view of life has taught me to pause and look around as time flies by all while remembering to be thankful for something. I deeply appreciate the time you've given me. And William, we've had so many fun times together, I could go on forever. As my older brother, you were always the person I wanted to imitate. I still aspire to be as intelligent and thoughtful as you, and I'll always owe you for improving my music tastes. Thank you for helping me keep my head up this year. In addition, I'd like to thank my friends uh, and those who I've met this year who have really uplifted me, and Josh, I can truly and honestly say I've never met someone whose big dreams inspire me as much as yours do. You manage to make me laugh or at least smile every single day, which is always one of the highlights for me. You consistently encourage and lift me up. Thank you for helping me so much this year. Thank you all, and I love you all. May the best days be yet to come. Would the following people please stand? Nani and Pepe, Grandpa and Joan, Mom, Dad, Nathan, Andy Wade, and Dean Rogers. I would first like to thank my family for having supported me these past four years. High school wouldn't have been the same without the trips and experience I have, experiences I have taken, which would not have been possible without them. First of all, thank you, Mom and Dad B, for all the wisdom, insight, and insight you have given me. I wouldn't be the same without you, and it means a lot. Nani and Pepe, thank you for all the fun memories we have made. Thank you, Pepe, for your words of wisdom and teaching me about all things mechanical. And if you ever need someone to take care of the 55, you know who to call. I'm glad you're in my life. It wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you, Nani, for always putting up with Nathan and I all these years. It's always a blast to see you, and we look forward to it. I will never forget our surprise last Christmas. It was hilarious. Grandpa and Joan, Thank you both for supporting me throughout high school as well. Thank you, Joan, for all the memories we've made in making Christmas special. I'm so glad to have gotten to know you and that you are in my life. Thank you, Grandpa, for all the times you have mentored me and taught me what it is like to be a man. I wouldn't be the man I am today without your good advice. Nathan, thanks for being the best brother anyone could ask for and for keeping me on my toes. Life would not be the same without you. Mom, thank you for always having my back and supporting me in everything I set out to do. I appreciate you so much. Dad, thank you for teaching me how to be a man. Thank you for enjoying fishing with me and teaching me to appreciate the outdoors. I couldn't ask for a more supportive family and wouldn't trade it for the world. Lastly, I would like to thank all my other friends and family for supporting me and joining me on this high school journey. It wouldn't have been the same without you all.
Will the following people please stand? Uh, Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, uh, Lily, Bree, Dean Rogers, Sam, and of course the Wampas. ...of water before bed multiplies brown at... No. <laughs> Mom, thank you for always being there for me. You've been the best mother that I could ever want. Whenever I need to talk to someone about something, you're always there to have a nice civil discussion about whatever I need to talk about. I've always enjoyed our talks whenever we go on walks around the neighborhood, whether they be about books, classes, or just life in general. Thank you for pushing me to be studious at a young age 
as now I can fully appreciate just how much all that reading helped me. You above all people fostered my intelligence when I was young, giving me the mind and reasoning that I have today. You're the best mother that I could ever ask for, and I'm going to miss you while I'm off at Union. Dad, where to begin? While you and I may be complete opposites, that doesn't mean that I can't appreciate all the things you've done for me. You've taught me everything that I need to know as a man, whether it be driving manual, changing tires, or changing the oil in my car. You're the one that I th can thank for my taste in music, and many of my fondest memories come from listening to music in the car with you. Thank you for being the one that I can turn to whenever I might need help with something in my life, because you always seem to know just what to do. I want to thank you and Mom for raising me to be the man that I am today. I really love you guys. Lily, my punk little sister, while you may be a churlish little reprobate, I still love you very much. You and I have been together since the start, and sometimes I like to think that our differing personalities complement each other. I want you to know that I mostly tease you out of love, though sometimes I do genuinely enjoy it. I want you to know that I will always be your big brother, and you can always come to me about anything. I wish you the best in the rest of your foray at Highland Academy, and whatever happens after that. Grandma and Grandpa, you're some of the best grandparents I could ever ask for. I have made so many memories with you guys at the lake, whether it be fishing with Grandpa, checking out the beehives, or just going on boat rides. I cherish the summers that I have spent with you guys, and I can't wait to spend some more down there. Hee-haw. Well, you may not be here in person, I hope that a video of this may find you wherever you may be. <sighs> oh, hee-haw. There has never been someone like you, and I doubt there ever will be. Any interaction with you brings a smile to my face, and the chaos that you bring to a conversation is just golden. I loved all the times that I spent at your place in Florida, and hopefully someday I can visit you whenever you decide to finally settle down. I want you to know that you are more than a grandmother to me. You're my hee-haw. Dean Rogers. It has brought me joy to be your worker for the past two years, and having you as a coach in gymnastics has been so much fun. And I'd also like to especially thank you and your wife for opening up your home to some of us guys in the dorm. To my boys, the Wampus, look at us. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's been a wild year, and some of the best memories I've made this year have been with you guys. We're all going to have to have a reunion sometime and reminisce on the good old times here. Sam Keener, since we met all those years ago, we've basically been inseparable. And while you got out of here a year earlier than I did, it's still been great hanging out with you when you're around. And you've been a great friend. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back and move into the gamer house with you guys. Bree, I know it's been a rough year living 12 hours apart, but we've still managed to make some great memories. I love you so much, and I can't wait until I see you more often when I'm out there at Union. These last two years have been great, and I can't wait for those to come. I know I may say this all the time, but you're the best girlfriend I could ever ask for. Good evening. Uh, can I have the following people stand, please? Uh, my mom, my dad, Sedona, Mr. Palma, John and Ieth, Rodney, Daylin, Magali, Miranda, uh, Mr. Wade, Miss Lopez, James, Dean Rogers, Dean Redding, and Amelia. Thank you all for coming. I would like to start off by thanking my mom and dad for their sacrifice and dedication to send me here for all four years of this journey we call high school. They have always been supportive of me and I am proud to be their son. I've met many people along my journey. Some crazy, some cool, and some we don't mention. Some came and went, but others stayed around, and I would like to recognize these people for being there. I want to thank my girlfriend Sedona for being there, listening, and caring for me. You mean so much to me, and I love seeing you smile. I want to thank Rodney Davis, along with his family. I would also like to thank my close friends, Daylin, Magali, Miranda, Michael, and Jeshua. Last but not least, I want to thank all of the staff. I have made many memories with all the staff, but for time's sake, I will only be mentioning three. Mr. Palma, who I have worked for every year since I was here. We fixed many a memorable leak 
and I learned a lot from you in the process. Mr. Wade, for helping me with all my woodworking projects and plans, no matter how crazy they may have sounded at first, and also for not letting me die on boundary waters. I want to also thank Ms. Lopez for helping me with math and just for being a kind and caring person to both me and others. Thanks again for coming out and supporting both me and my class. Okay, I'm going to try to read this as fast as I can, so listen up. <clears throat> Will the following people please stand? Mom, Dad, Katie, Grandma, Grandpa. If your first name is Heather and you have been compared in appearance to me, please also stand. That's three of you guys. Hannah, Sedona, Lily Loco, Johanna, Dean Sarah, Dean Wiesner, Miss Stephanie Thornton, Mr. Hallam, Mr. Alvarez, Miss Thomas, and the rest of the smart clan. Mom, thank you for teaching me the value of kindness, my self-worth, and creativity. You fostered that in me since I was very little, and I can't take credit for it. Thank you for teaching me that others' opinions of me don't matter, and that I can walk to the beat of my own drum. Thank you for teaching me to be a woman of God, and you've set a wonderful example for me. I love you. Dad, Thank you for teaching me the value of hard work, generosity, and fun. Mowing in the summer, getting burritos at Qdoba, and everything else will be things I never forget. Thank you for always being willing to drop everything and run to my aid, no matter what it was. Thank you. I love you. Katie, you're pretty great too. I'm so happy that we've had the last year to get to know each other even better, and I'm going to miss you when I'm at way at college. You were really awesome. And thank you for all of your fashion advice, whether I want it or not. Grandma and Grandpa, thank you for teaching me the importance of generosity and hard work. You've shown me that I can be whoever I want to be as long as I give it to God first and work hard to get it. Thank you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your generosity with my schooling and throughout my life. Heather, Sedona, Lily, and Johanna. You guys have been by my side through everything, and God gave me the best of friends when he introduced me to you. Dean Sarah, you've shown me what it means to be a woman of God and virtue. Thank you for giving me an example I can follow. Dean Wiesner, thank you for being a mother to me no matter what, and teaching me that value comes from God, not from those around me. You're someone I can always go to no matter what. Miss Smart, Thank you so much for being my mom away from home and looking out for me no matter what happens. Even though I know I may annoy you sometimes, thank you so very much. It's meant a whole lot. I love all you guys so very much, and I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Please stand up. Uh, Mama, Papa, Los Acuna, Anna, Micah, Gabe, Adrian, Nasir, Cordell, Tommy Boy, Heberto, Victor, Helena, Imani, Judith, Magali, Miranda, De La Brands, Coach Rogers, and Miss Lopez. Oh boy, here we are. Wow. I never pictured myself coming to a different country and making it this far. I bet if you would have told me this like six years ago, I'll be like, what? By the way, I'm sorry beforehand, but this following portion of the speech is going to be in Spanish. Mamá, papá, muchas gracias por haberme guiado hasta aquí. Desde que los conocí, ustedes día a día formaron la persona que soy ahora. Mamá, gracias por los regaños y los jalones de oreja. Si quieres si vieron. Papá, gracias por enseñarme a tener más confianza en mí mismo. Los quiero mucho y siento que nunca tendré palabras o acciones suficientes para agradecerles. Hermana Mari, hermano Alfredo, muchas gracias por enseñarme la palabra de Dios. Les prometo que siempre los atesoraré en mi corazón. Muchas gracias, hermana Liz, por los consejos y cariño. All right, now this portion is going to be in English. I'm really thankful for the staff that show me that there's a family far away from home. I'm so thankful for all of you guys have done for me. 
for all the advices, for all the worship times. You guys are really the best. And I'm also really thankful for my friends. I'm glad that I met all the Wampas and Anna, my best friend. Y'all made my Highland experience so enjoyable. I'm always keeping you guys in my heart. Just remember to hold tight that our journey in life isn't over yet. May the following people please stand up. My grandparents, Chelsea, my sister, Kaysom, Steve, my mom, Mr. Watkins, Mr. Wade, Coach, my twin, Victor, Tyler, Cordell, Adrian. First off, I'd like to thank my grandparents. If it weren't for my grandparents, I wouldn't have been able to experience the school, the students, the faculty, everyone. They do everything they can to help anyone and ask for nothing in return. They've given me so many new opportunities and I can never thank them enough. Even though I'd lived in Utah my entire life, when I moved here, they were able to provide a place to stay and I appreciate that so much. They're my family and now I'm here to say thank you. And now I'd like to thank my sister. I might regret this later, but here I am. My sister has always been there by my side, even when I'm not around. She's easy to talk to, and I know I can go to her when I really need help. We grew up with the sibling love, always arguing and fighting, but since we've matured, she's okay now, I guess. So, Aubrey, I love you and thank you. Now I'd like to thank Chelsea. When I moved to Tennessee, it was hard for me, but she seemed to pick me up off my feet and, nev and has never left my side since. She keeps me in check and is there for me whenever I need her. You have helped me so much throughout everything. Thank you. And now I'd like to thank my grandparents. I'll begin with Steve. Steve is my stepfather and has every right to that title. He's helped me grow into a better guy. He's patient, a good teacher, and a good parent. I know I can count on his advice when something's wrong and when I need help. So Steve, thank you. And I'd like to thank my dad now, which unfortunately he's not here to attend my graduation, but I know he'll end up hearing this somehow. My dad's one of my biggest supporters, and even when he thinks something I do might not be the best idea, he stands behind me and supports me through it. He's helped me grow by letting me be my own person, and I can't thank him enough. I love you. And finally, I'd like to thank my mom. Thank you for always being one of my strongest supporters, for letting me choose my own path to follow, but guiding me when I need help. Thank you for raising me to be who I am today, and thank you for always making me your priority. I'm so lucky to have such a wonderful mom in my life. I love you. Following people, please stand. Mom, Dad, Nathan, Justin, Becca, Ben, James, Christopher, and um, Amelia, Ali, Helena, Yudia, James, Karis, Josh, Sedona, and Miranda, and as well as Miss Armantrout and Miss Shoemaker and Mr. Cole, if they're here, and Katie, Lily. Uh, where is she? <laughs> Katie, Lily, and Carly, and one. All right. Wow, Mom and Dad, your little girl is all grown up. I would not be here if it was not for your love and the sacrifices you made on a daily basis. In my completely unbiased opinion, you guys are the best parents a girl could ask for. Dad. You are the coolest, friendliest, sweetest person. I love how you can always try to make others feel like they are appreciated and that they matter. I love how I can rant to you about the weather or my day or some new music I found and I'm going to share. You are such a fun guy and you show that through our conversations and the games we played as kids. You've never been afraid of running around on the playground with us, even if occasionally all the kids there decided to play tag with us as well. Thank you for being my friend and mentor, but thank you most for being my dad. Mom, of all the people on the planet, I think you are the most selfless. You make sure everyone is taken care of before worrying about yourself. You have a heart and you show that through how lovingly you care for people around you. You work so hard 
to provide a home that we feel loved, safe, and connected. You love me so much, and you prove that through the little things you do, whether it be a home-cooked meal, or listening to my stories, or teaching me how to sew or crochet. You always lift Christ up, and you have lived to prove that. I see Jesus in you, Mom. Thank you for being my guide and teacher, but thank you most for being my mom. To my siblings, Nathan, Becca, Justin, Sam, and Ben, you have not just been the people who have the same blood. You guys have been there through thick and thin. We share so many fond memories, and I'm so thankful for how we can stay connected. Thank you for being my friends for life. I love you all. To my friends, thank you for being my companions, for putting up with me and my antics. Y'all are awesome, and I couldn't ask for better people to call friends. To Amelia, you are an amazing listener, and you're so fun to hang out with. Karis, I love how artistic you are. Your art is so inspiring. Amelia, Adrian, Karis, James, Sedona, Josh, Yulia, Daylin, Magali, and Miranda. Class trip was so fun with y'all. Katie, Houston, Brandon, Carly, Juan. Lunch table discussions were so interesting with y'all. To my teachers, you guys are superstars. Thank you for all the time and effort you put into teaching, whether it be in the classroom or behind the scenes. I sincerely appreciate each of you. Um, to Ms. Armantrout, Ms. Shoemaker, Mr. Russell, and Ms. Riggs, thanks for being the most amazing work supervisors, aka my bosses. Y'all are awesome, and you inspired me to be a teacher, so thank you. And to Ron Swartz, take care, brother. I hope you find your uncle. Will the following people that are able please stand up? Granny, Mike, Dad, Mom, Steve, Gabriel, Amelia, Brandon, Houston, James, Imani, Anna, Helena, Caroline, Steve Rogers, Mr. Wade, Mr. Hallam, Mama Sue, Mr. Sherman, Mark Thompson, Tanya Harrison, Tato Adele and the family, Tom Brevig and the family, and the entirety of the Wampas. What a grand opportunity I have to welcome all who have managed their ways here to support me and our senior class. Highland has paved many roads for me to follow. May my enthusiasm carry through as I thank those who I simply could not live without. Mom and Dad, my gratitude towards you is timeless. My understanding of you both goes hand in hand with my love. Your tireless and selfless sacrifices to get me where I am today inspires me. You guys' presence cheering me on tugs at my heart. I've witnessed the powers that be put in blood, sweat, and tears towards watching me succeed, and how I yearn to make you proud. Granny, the role that you have played in molding me into a reflection of your discerned integrity has a great hold on me. You have gently ushered every footstep and have accompanied me through life's fretful ventures. You convey an influence so powerful that your words echo everlasting. My efforts here can't possibly justify my appreciation. Thank you for your love. Mike, Chris, and Stephanie, I simply couldn't ask for a livelier group as the likes of you guys. You have served me well in enlightening me to a world not my own, drawing out of me opportunity and aspects of which I hold dear. Your roles in my life will not go unnoticed. Finally, I would like to bring light to those here at Highland Academy and to those who stand behind its truths, whom of which bridge gaps in my education, opened doors by that of shedding their kindness, and have ultimately supported me every step of the way. One person who stands out in the crowd is Tanya Harrison, better known as our Southern Mama. Thank you so much for just being you. Lastly, to all you Wampas, you know who you are. Te amo, te amo. The following people, please stand up. Mama, Papa, Maite, Isaac, Maribel, Marcos, Dad, Pastor Will, Christy, Mom, Mr. Alvarez, Mrs. Alvarez, Mr. Holland, Ms. Lopez, Coach Redding, Mr. Ashcroft, Magali, Dylan, Miranda, McKay, Alejandro, Matias, Gabe, Heather, Amelia, Adrian, Helena, Victor, 
la familia Camacho, Juanito, Elena, James, Imani, Mr. Wade, Mr. Sherman, Watkins family, and Mrs. and Mr. Hilbert. It is a privilege for me to be here. Being here not only means a simple role with your name and a goal to overcome, but being here entails tears, laughter, prayers, fasting, effort, commitment, and hard work. But above all, leads to believe in a God who does miracles. For me, Halloween is the most beautiful thing I have experienced until now. A single year that feels like an eternity, but today it feels like a few days ago. God gave me the happiness of knowing such an incredible people even without having known them. As Ms. Roberts, you do not have idea how grateful I am with you and your wife because only by the power and grace of God and not by coincidence, I found an incredible person like the people I found here in Highland. Ms. Lopez, Mr. Holland, Mr. Ashcraft, and Coach Redding. I do not think they know it yet but they are one of my greatest reasons to move on, dry my tears, and have the strength to continue giving the best from me. Even with the small words like, I'm proud of you, you are doing well. My most sincere thanks to you. To all the staff, I thank you very much for your understanding and help while I learned English from the first time. This is not just my faculty family, but this is my real family, and God knows that. I love them a lot, and I cannot express how fundamental they are, and they have been to me. Without a doubt, the most beautiful gift that Highland gave me, Pastor Will and Miss Christie, that and Mom, this is also yours. I love you all so much. You are such a blessing to me. To my friends, you know who you are. Thank you so much. You have definitely made my year one of the best ones in my entire life. Thank you for every hug, for worrying about me, and for always being for me. Mama, papá, hermanitos lindos, Marcos y Maribel, abuelo Roberto y abuela Yolida, ¿qué sería de mi vida sin ustedes? Los amo con todo mi corazón. Gracias a todos ustedes hoy estoy aquí. Gracias por ayudarme a ser cada día la mujer en la que me he convertido. Gracias, mami, por ser una mujer ejemplar y enseñarme todo lo que hoy me hace auténtica y única. Esto es tuyo y no mío, y sin tu apoyo nunca habría podido. Los amo a todos, te amo papi, te amo Isaac, eres mi vida entera y gracias a ti chiquitico he sido la más fuerte de todas. Marister, te amo inmensamente, mi amiga, mi apoyo, ustedes son mis cómplices. Son lo más hermoso que Dios me ha regalado y hoy levanto mis ojos al cielo pidiéndole a Dios que me permita dedicarles mis logros a ustedes, pero siempre celebran en el cielo con Titi, abuelo Juan y Carmen. Y a todos mis tíos los amo. The last one, but not less important, thank you, God. This class is dedicated to you, class of 2022. Hello. Will the following people please stand? Mama, Papa, Nana, uh, Aunt Lisa and Uncle Rodney, Mr. and Mr. Alvarez, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers, Mr. and Mrs. Hallam, Sammy Schmidt, Thomas, Cordell, Gabe, Nasir, Brandon, Judith, Houston, Lily Loco, and finally, last but not least, will the real Slim Shadies please stand up? Thank you, God. Better gave me a drive, a work ethic that I needed in order to get everything that I've been able to accomplish done. Thank you. Mom, you were always there to help me with math, making sure that I made everything correct and ensuring that I at least got an okay grade on most of my subjects. Thank you for dedicating your time to helping me grow better. Thank you for dedicating your time to making sure that I got good grades and supporting me through the years. Papa, thank you for always being willing to sing with me. Always 
helping me ensure that my dreams were able to be done. Thank you for teaching me different things, taking me wherever you could and telling me about the past and showing me the world. Nana, thank you for teaching me how to cook and showing me all of the different techniques that you would use to make sure that all of your dinners and lunches taste delicious. <laughs> I'll always enjoy cooking with you. I love you all. Will the following people please stand? Mom, Dad, Noah, Granny, Papa, Grandmother, Papa, Mama Reynoso, Papa Reynoso, Diego, Jennifer, Victor, Aunt Izzy, Katie, Ethan, Addie, Mastruski, Mr. Hilbert, Mrs. Ashcraft, Adrian, Anna, uh, Judy, Principal Watkins, Matthias, Huey B, Imani, Lissa, Mr. Sherman, Thomas, Ali, and Lady Rogers. Hey guys, thank you to all my friends and family for being here and for sacrificing everything so that I can make it to this point. The first person I'd like to thank is my mom, Tiny Mommy. Thank you for everything you've sacrificed for me to go to Highland. For all the Thursday afternoon Cracker Barrel lunches, fixing my hair for banquet, watching Anna Green Gables, and for being my chocolate supplier. Thank you for showing me how a godly woman should act and teaching me what sacrifice looks like to those around you. Your time and shoe shopping money given to pay for my education won't be forgotten. I love you. Dad, thank you for sacrificing countless hours providing and loving our family and for always filling up the truck even when it's on empty. I'll never forget our country music jam sessions and when we sang the Blake Shelton song and mom's face turned beet red. I couldn't ask for a better dad. Thank you. Oh, Noah, I'm pretty sure you're the favorite. I mean, look how much trouble you've gotten away with. I'm joking, kind of. But thank you for being my go-to since birth. The amount of trouble we've gotten is unmatched. I'm so thankful for the way you always know how to fix a problem when I'm upset. I love you. Granny, granny, granny. I thank God every day for you, not only because you're my Taco Bell supplier, but because you glue our family together, even though you get a little crazy at time with your little tunes. I love you very much. Next, my papa, Poa. I know I'm definitely your favorite, but I won't tell anyone. Thank you for having patience with me, taking me on motorcycle rides, having guitar sessions on Sabbath. I know we're going to be besties for life. Grandmother and papa. Thank you for every way that you've supported me, helping me grow at Highland, encouraging me to do my best, and always being willing to make your famous biscuits and gravy. Aunt Judy and Uncle Joe, thank you for the countless hours Jessica, Katie, and I spent making box ports, playing teenagers, and having fancy dinners in the dining room. Aunt Izzy, thank you for all the tea sessions we've had. I'm definitely still your mini-me. Katie, you're like the sister I never had. I won't forget the nights at Mimi's house or when Andrea put feathers in our hair before school. Ethan and Addie, oh my word. The time we spent at Granny's trying to survive without internet, I won't forget. We really went through it, but I love y'all. Deanne, I feel like we're technically related at this point. Stealing Miss Dresky's snacks and trying to figure out pre-cal is something I'll never forget. I'm going to miss you. Miss Dresky, Mr. Hilbert, and Mrs. Ashcraft. Thank you for adopting me in the office and putting up with my crazy projects in the morning. Victor David, thank you for making me want to be a better person and forcing me to make friends even though I didn't want to. Your leadership and kindness inspires me and I'm grateful for your advice and our pizza dates. I love you. Diego and Jenny, Diego, thank you for acting as my personal punching bag. And Jenny, thank you for all the tea we've got to spill about your work and for being a good friend. Mama and Papa Reynoso, let me tell you, I love y'all. You're like a second family to me, and I wouldn't give up anything for the days we spend together. 
I can see God shining through you, and I'm super grateful for you. But mostly, I want to thank God for sending these people into my life to bring me joy and to show me to never give up.
keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up. Am I more than just the sum of every heart? again just who I am because I need to know Jesus, or 
in all of you be still Will I stand in your presence Or to my knees will I fall Will I sing hallelujah Will I be able to speak at all I can only imagine I can only imagine day comes and I find myself standing in the sun I can only imagine when all I would do is forever forever worship you I can only imagine yeah I can only imagine To my knees will I fall, will I sing hallelujah, will I be able to speak at all, I can only imagine, yeah, I can only imagine. I think it's my turn. <laughs> All right, on, the, on behalf of the senior class, we'd like to thank you for coming out uh, tonight to enjoy this celebration with us. Um, let's bow our heads for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this Sabbath that you've given us today. Thank you uh, that we're allowed to be here now as a, as a class, enjoying our graduation weekend. I ask that you be with everybody here, keep them safe wherever they go, and thank you in your name. Amen. On behalf of the class of 2023, we want to invite uh, you seniors, uh, you family and friends, uh, over to the cafeteria for a light reception. Uh, it does sound like that maybe it's not raining as hard outside as it was just a little bit ago, uh, but we want to invite you over there to, uh, to celebrate, to reminisce, and continue to enjoy the rest of the evening. Again, that's in the cafeteria. Uh, tomorrow's uh, commencement services will begin here at 10 o'clock. Uh, the sanctuary will be open at 9. Thank you all and have a great evening. <laughs>